Welcome back to Real Christianity with Rev Kev. As they say in our village, yaki yaki. Mysticism, we all hear about it. I work in Africa, Nigeria. I was just talking to a coworker in Kenya. And so there's, there's this, this mysticism that we can that we can know more about God or the spirit world through meditation and it absorbs us. And we have knowledge uh, beyond what is intellectual and something that takes over in this mysterious kind of knowledge. W what does the Bible say about that? Well, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no one gets to the Father but through me. So I think we start with Jesus, uh, his resurrection, and the, the transformation that he makes in our lives, and the, the promises that he's with us, that the Holy Spirit indwells us and carries us through. Should we still meditate on scripture? Absolutely. Should we pursue these out-of-body experiences or this hidden knowledge? I don't think that's Christianity. And whether that happens in Africa and they're influenced by their tribal religions or it's here in the States where we start pursuing uh, things that we really don't understand, trying to gain more knowledge or a deeper experience with Jesus. I think Christianity is pretty straightforward. It says, love God with all of your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. And then loving God, that means we set aside our own discomfort and go out and love a, a hurting world and reach out to them. Should we still seek to know God and, and be aware of his presence in our lives? Absolutely. When we seek something beyond what is in scripture or some kind of experience for our own benefit, we're stepping into dangerous territory and we're going beyond what God has for us. So keep your eyes on Jesus and uh, thanks, thank him, the, the Father, that he will direct our paths in this process of loving him with all of our hearts and serving others. This has been Real Christianity with Rev Kev. Yaki Yaki. <laughs>